Hello, good afternoon. What's your name? Abi Bajake. You're looking very pretty. Well, it is Nigeria's most pretty queen. So first of all, I need to ask, what motivated you to come for this audition? Um, I want to be a good role model to the world and to showcase a good character to upcoming model. That's all. If you do get to be picked, what are you going to do with all of that? I'll help the charities home. Um, I'll help. I'll help so many people. People that don't have place to sleep. We'll give them food and all. That sounds pretty much um, um, community, you know, community helping. Yes, yeah, so that works. Humankind. You're happy about humankind and looking forward to helping them. All right, then. Thank you very much. I wish you good luck. Yes, ma. Thank you so much. Okay, ready? Hello and good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, have you been stressed at all of that? What's going on? How, is, how are you feeling right now? Like, great. Like, I really is it. I feel, I, mean, I was scared from the beginning, but the minute I got to the front, the smile from the judges and me going back, coming back was, I was like, okay. Then the stress left. Yeah. Then I just flew along. Having done that now, what are you hoping for? If you get picked, what are your expectations? What do you intend to do with that? Um, according to what I said inside, I talked about we ladies, empowering we ladies, making us do greater things. Not everything is not about being at home or being in the marriage life. We ladies can do more. We are smarter, so we can do more. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to ask, what motivated you to come for this this audition? What motivated you to come for this pageant? Okay, um, I've always been passionate about um, modeling for a long time. Yeah, but I just couldn't go because um, the background I come from, like all these kind of things are not allowed. But yeah, I um, just like, I see everything and like, you no, know, this is something I really want and I'm going to go for it. So. Okay, so talk about now, do you have as much, at least as much support as you hope to get, we know from... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it could be better actually, but I think, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Going in there now, um, how, how, how is everything? Um, first off, aside from what inspired you to come here, what are you looking forward to if you do get picked, you know, for the pageant? Okay, um, I hope to like um, to win. I hope um, from winning, I can uh, motivate other people from like like me that don't get um, family support and everything to just come forward and pursue their dreams. I, I, I mean, come on, you're smiling enough. It's almost award-winning. <laughs> all right, then. Thank you so much for your time. And I do intend, hopefully, to see you when it all starts. All right. Back behind this pageant. Well, basically, we're trying to empower ladies, okay? We're creating platforms to get a lot of people out there, a lot of people to be able to represent themselves, represent the country, represent their families. At the end of the day, we expect that we should be able to pick out somebody who can spearhead um, the dreams and the um, aims and the objectives of you know, this organization. So we're hoping that we get an amazing person. So far, how has it been with the contestants and everything? Well, it's been nice. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm, I've been one of the judges. I think I would say it's been quite tasking. Yeah, because, you know, um, a lot of people are pretty, but they might need to work more on their IQ. The intelligence is one of the things that I think we're having a dwindle when it comes to, um, you know, most of the contestants, just a few of them are really, really like sound when it comes up there, yeah. But all in all, is it looking promising? Well, it's looking promising. I think being a judge, I like up to about five people out of all the people that have come out. So apparently, I think I probably just have five, five people on my hands, yeah. Then, um, can you just give us a little insight to what is at stake for um, those that get to be picked as a contestant after the audition and whatnot? Okay, well, for now, I don't have a full idea, all right? But I'm very, very sure that they're going to go on tours. They're going to have to, um, you know, meet with dignitaries from all bars to Igways to whatever. I mean, like, all that. I don't know if there's a cash prize. I don't know if there's a car coming with it, but I think it's a car or something. So apparently, they are the person is going to have an amazing life for the first year. 
Yes. All in all, for those for those who are still you know on their seats and waiting to see if they'll get um, picked as contestants, what exactly are you looking out for? Now, I'm not talking about those that have left already. Yes, for those who are still on their seats, I'd I'd want them to be smart. You could really look not too beautiful in the face, but I want this on fire. Like I'm gonna ask questions that has to do with intelligence, and I want you to respond. And uh, yes, so because that's what a queen is supposed to represent. One situation whereby when the queen comes out to speak, you know we can be proud of who we're putting out there as our queen. All right. Thank you so much for your time. And um, at the end of the day, we hope you're able to you know get the number of people you want. I'm gonna do is calm down again. Thank you. I'm so See there. Happy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful evening. And yes, more strength to your help is more grist to it because you guys are really I need, trying. I need all the strength I can find. I mean, like I'm, I'm sussing for strength right now. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. And that is X27, guys. I'm Queen Ali Balo Guadalike Adikweju, winner Nigeria, most pretty queen 2020. Uh, I'm from Lagos Island, Lagos Island West, of course, yes. Uh, opportunities. I would say I, I had the opportunity to meet a lot of people, of course, yeah, politicians. <laughs> well, I've had um, opportunities to, to meet people that I need. I've had a um, lot of pet projects, of course, I've supported people in my own little way. And if I hand over my crown, of course, I'm still looking forward to doing more. I love babies, so we still have more projects for babies. We have um, the food bank and lots more, yes. Uh, we are looking for someone that is smart, obviously, you have to be very smart. And I'm not going to drop my crown if you're not smart. <laughs> You have to be really, really intelligent. You have to be hard working. You have to be time conscious. And for me, I'd say you would have to make a lot of sacrifices because I did make sacrifices. And I wouldn't think I would want to give my crown to someone that would just trash my hard work. I mean, I worked. In case you don't think I work, I worked. I worked really hard. <laughs> yeah, so. Basically, uh, the whole beauty uh, queen of Nigeria thing is about empowering young ladies and, you know, Letting them understand how beautiful they are inside out, basically. So that's what it's about. Well, today it's been amazing. Honestly, I've had fun meeting all kinds of people, all kinds of amazing ladies, both the funny ones, the ones that are really not that funny. You understand? Those are really intelligent, very smart, you know. But most of all, right, I'm happy to be interacting with amazing, 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 beautiful ladies of Africa. This is a very amazing uh, event, and I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be one of the judges. It's a privilege. Okay, uh, hi guys, I'm Albert Ogunde by name. I'm a cinematographer, a professional photographer, a content creator, a movie director, and a producer. Uh, a little bit about Most Pretty Queen Nigeria, I would say, is one of, uh, one of Nigeria's best big pageant that motivate and uh, help the young youth, females precisely, and I would say they're actually doing fine because they are not they are not the kind of pageant that promise their coins and title orders what they won't um, give to them in return. They I would say they don't only groom their winners, they bring out the best out of their youthful age. Okay, for a potential contestant, I guess for me, I'm looking for someone who's who has a business mind, who is extraordinarily wise who think far ahead the future and who is ready to make a change not only in the community but in the nation at large well so far as a judge for the audition today it's been going widely nice i use more widely nice because there are some contestants that are divinely funny and some pictures they are submitting for the audition are massively crazy i don't even know where to pick it from and there are some you know the audition has actually been going well but among, along the line, you get to see the funny part of the contestant and you get to see those that are really here to compete for the pageant. Hi guys, I'm Albert Ogunde, your favorite cinematographer, producer and photographer. Keep watching Camera Boy TV, the best TV you can ever meet. Okay, my name is Dako Opasun. I am the project manager for Nigerian Choice Awards, Nigeria Most Pretty Queen, Lagos Most Beautiful Girl, and Lagos Achievers Award. Okay, the basic thing about pageantry is the fact that 
things are actually changing. Pigeon trees are not actually doing what they are supposed to do. Probably they are crowning with one set of coins and the rest of it like that. So that was why we came out with Nigeria most put a coin, whereby we can actually give the crown to whom the crown is actually due. So we can actually do so much for the country at large because the, act, the country is actually downsizing and the rest of it like that. So we need somebody to stand up for the youth, stand up for the people, talk for the people and the rest of it like that. So that's the basic came of for that. Okay, we, we don't actually have so many challenges like that, but more challenges we had last year was COVID. So we couldn't actually do so much that last year. But even as there was COVID, we were still working in the COVID because we had to share out things to people because a whole lot of people were actually suffering. There was no food everywhere. People were run, running out of cash and the rest of it like that. So we, need to, we needed to collect from the rich and give it to the poor collect some palliatives <laughs> and give it to the people like sincerely so we had a whole lot of things to, to achieve that last year so and we did it okay my advice for the ladies is just be yourself just be yourself don't do anything negative to achieve any basic aim that's just the advice of our for you because when you do a negative things to achieve your aim to come out to affect you later on in the future i'm talking from experience i've had a whole lot of news and the rest of it like that so just be natural do your thing that's all, that's all.